welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. Now that we have already seen how do we start getting calls for an interview, now let us take a step ahead and also advance into get, getting a job one for ourselves too. Do stay subscribed to this channel for many more videos like these to flow and a lot of knowledge yet to be shared. Now this video would talk of how do you explain about your project when you are called for an interview. Now when we talk of our project, now this is purely the technical aspect of your interview and this is the most crucial part of it. As this is the main reason why you are called therefore, so when we are talking about this, we would want to answer everything that we know. But have patience because the knowledge that you consist of, it needs to flow in a streamlined direction. And that is what we would be covering in this very video. Now when we are asked off to talk about our project and its related experience, we talk all what we know and all what we did. But this is where the knack comes into picture. Now you talk what is required and you do not talk what is not required. Now when you are answering this question, you answer this question with exact precision. When you talk of your project, you do not talk of how long it has been, where it has been, who, how many were your friends out there and how was the work environment. You talk of things which are of much more importance and things that would actually justify the reason why you are called for. Now the way you start this is you initially begin with the total number of projects that you handled so far, be it 10 or 15. Now you do not start up with explaining all the projects on the whole because it would need another day just to explain your projects. There is no way that you can concise 15 years or 10 years of your experience in 10 minutes but that is how it has to be. You just need to give a quick look of what you are within 10 minutes. Not more than that. I would personally say 10 minutes is also way too far. You can explain about yourself and what is your technical expertise in not more than 3 to 4 minutes if that is what you are asking from me. Because an interviewer would get bored of listening to you after a certain period of time and we don't want to bore him out there. We want to ensure that he stays engrossed and he is listening to what we are talking with utmost attention. Now for this to happen, you need to answer to the point. Do hold on as in this very video, we would be looking at how do we talk in a project and when asked for it. Now the first thing that comes to your mind when you talk of your project is your total number of experience and your area of strength in it. So this is how you start that you have worked for so and so projects and this is where your strength lies. Now once this is done, then you would also be talking of your technical paradigms. Now if you are an SAP developer, you talk of what are all the technical environments that you worked on. If it's ECC, if it is ABAP, if it is SD, if it is MM and what exactly it is. If you are a front-end developer, then you would talk of the different technological paradigms here as well. Be it HTML, be it CSS3, be it JavaScript that you are using. So whatever it is. Now this is what the technical paradigm consists of. And this is what you will have to explain him when you are talking of your project. Now once this is done, you would be talking of how many members are present or how many members does your team consist of. And when talking of your team, never try to boast yourself or never try to show that it's you who did everything. Because it happens many a times in interviews that we try to portray ourselves in a higher position. And in doing this, we fail to forget that even the interviewer has an experience just like us. Now this is where we have the bad hit and we don't want to get hit when we are entering an interview hall, right do we? So avoid talking about yourself as much as possible when you are talking about the project in an interview. Remember the baseline that it is always a team play and no person in a developmental forum at least is considered an individual or is given credit individually. Until unless you have done something or you have created a nice breaking performance out there but otherwise the credit is spread among the team and you also would portray yourself as a team player and nothing less than that. Once you have explained your interviewer about your team size and how you have helped them, now is the time wherein you talk about yourself. 
and in this when you talk about yourself you explain him how have you come contributed technically to the company now this is where your area of expertise can be boasted of now do do keep this in mind that when you're talking of yourself you do not hyper exaggerate because that would lead to unnecessary expectations and these expectations would yield or would result in a higher level of the technical interview being happening so you project yourself as simple as possible and the person with extraordinarily hard working capabilities because every company would want a person who is dedicated who is hard working who is sincere enough and who is ready to face any challenge no matter what period so ensure that when you're talking about yourself you cover all the points and you do not exaggerate unnecessarily and finally you would be talking of the client requirements and how have you been able to meet with them so when you're talking of your project the first thing that you would start with is the company that you worked for and the clients followed by a quick review on your last project and then you would be talking of the different technical paradigms you worked on followed by your team size and your role in the team and then your key roles in the organization as to this is your complete speciality or your technical uh, expertise is what i i would say and then finally your technical expertise put into play for the company now how did this technical expertise help or how did this technical expertise with your team ensure that you have achieved a common goal that is delivery and this is how you would sum up your interview when you talk about your project do keep in mind that when you're talking of your project you do not boast about yourself and you always reflect yourself as a team player as that is the final truth and nobody can escape from this I hope you have had a great learning session today. Do keep these points in mind and try them when you're going for your next interview. All the best. Do very well. Stay tuned to this channel for many more videos like these to come. Thanks a lot for watching. Do stay subscribed to this channel. Have a great day ahead.